So I've seen a lot of people talk about the Kaplan USMLE lecture notes online, and some people say that they're a complete waste of time, other people are saying that they're the most amazing resource they've ever used. But personally, I think there's a little bit of nuance that's missing from this conversation. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my experience with the USMLE Kaplan lecture notes, and hopefully help you decide if they're going to be worth your time. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Chris, and I make videos about my IMG journey. So Kaplan is a series of seven textbooks, along with an online video lecture series that goes for around $200 brand new. And it's kind of designed to be a full comprehensive curriculum for students that are going from the very beginning to the very end of their preparation. I've personally found that Kaplan is a really good and really comprehensive resource. You're not going to miss out on any information if you use it, but they're not very concise. I saw a video by Your Average IMG, I'm going to link his video in description, and he explained it really well. He said that the ratio of time spent to the amount of high yield information you learn in the Kaplan lecture notes is very low. So that is to say that you would spend more time to learn the same amount of high yield information. So I originally bought the full Kaplan lecture note series at one and a half to two years before I was planning to take my step one the first time round. And I had heard that they're a pretty long resource, so I reasoned that a year and a half to a year is more than enough time to go through the resource. Even though I gave myself about a year to study the Kaplan lecture notes, between my other high yield resources like Sketchy and New World, I really struggled to dedicate time to studying Kaplan on top of those high yield resources. And that was in addition to studying what I needed to for my medical school curriculum as well. Well, by the way, if you're interested in what resources I'm personally using to study for step one, check out this video here. It got to the point where I felt like I was studying for two medical school curriculums at once with all the hours I had to put into Kaplan and medical school. I was covering a lot of the same content that I was covering in school and also the information was presented in a much less concise way to what I was watching in, let's say, Borsa Beyond. I really felt like it demanded too much of my time than for what it actually gave back to me in terms of high yield information. Now, I will note that my medical school kind of based its curriculum around the US learning objectives for USMLE. So my base knowledge was pretty good and I felt like I could supplement that with high yield resources and I would be okay for step one. So maybe if you have a much weaker base knowledge, then Kaplan might be the right choice for you. I will say the one Kaplan book that I found really useful was the anatomy book. Because anatomy is kind of a large subject and it's often very vague, it was nice to have have a sort of a concise syllabus to work through in the anatomy book. And also it has a few pieces of high yield information in the margins that I found really useful for my step one studying and also for my medical school studying. So if you're struggling with anatomy, I definitely recommend going onto eBay and just buying the anatomy Kaplan book on its own. It's quite cheap, about $20. So like I said, the main reason I think you would be using Kaplan uh, instead of the more high yield resources would be if you're trying to build up your base medical knowledge. However, I personally felt like Boards and Beyond is a much better resource for building up base knowledge than the Kaplan notes. For me, Boards and Beyond did a really good job of covering all the bases, but also being concise enough and being high yield enough that I was able to go through the content in a reasonably short period of time. I think it contains just enough detail for IMGs, even if you have no idea about the US syllabus. I really believe that even if you're a year plus away from your exam, your time is still extremely valuable. Let's say you're one and a half years out from your exam and you decide to dedicate a year of that time to just doing Kaplan video lectures. Let's say instead of Kaplan, you did Boards and Beyond video lectures and the accompanying Anki flashcards in the Anking deck. You might be able to shorten down the time window from a year to six to nine months. That gives you three to six more months that you can potentially dedicate to any resource of your choosing. I think you would do better on the test if you spent those three to six months doing, let's say practice questions, which is a form of active learning, as opposed to passively reading the Kaplan lectures or watching the video lectures. So if we think about what you're doing when you're learning the Kaplan resources, you're reading the textbook, you're highlighting, you're watching the video lectures and you're annotating in the margins. So this is a very passive learning technique, as opposed to practice questions, which are very much an active learning technique. Every time you get asked a question, you have to actively recall the information from your mind and that strengthens the neural connections in your brain, making you hold onto the information more tightly. And the research shows that this is more effective and efficient way to study. And I think you'd do better on step one as a result. 
So if I could do things again, I really wouldn't have spent the $200 on the Kaplan notes. I think that money would have been better invested in a question bank or maybe even sketchy. So I think the reasons for using Kaplan are very limited. I think you should consider using Kaplan if you're more than a year out from your test and you feel like you didn't get a strong base knowledge from your medical curriculum, you really don't like boards and beyond, and you have a large amount of time to study every day, i.e. you don't have that many responsibilities in medical school, and you don't really want to use any other high yield resources like Sketchy, then I think that would be the limited reason to use Kaplan. But in all other circumstances, I really think you should consider using Boards and Beyond instead because when you save the time on Boards and Beyond, you can put that time towards a question bank and I really think that that would do you better in the long run. All right, guys, just a short video today. I saw this question floating around on the internet, so I thought I'd give my personal experience on here. If you found this video valuable at all, you should check out this video where I go through all the resources that I'm personally using for step one. Like and subscribe for more videos about my IMG journey and I'll see you all later. Cheers.